me guess. You guys don't want to camp anymore. You guys don't want to do the damn penthouse strat on D Machina anymore. You're sick of it. Well, that's okay, because I got five awesome training spots for you guys to use on D Machina. They're all pretty easy and do not require much setup, especially with the dead wire buff, which I'll get into in a minute. And again, these are going to be taking you to super high rounds, even if the penthouse strat is the way that the person got to the highest round on D Machina. But anyway, I'm sticking to my gut. Welcome to 5 Minute Top 5s, where I take 5 minutes of your time to give you the top information. I just came up with that on the spot. Coming in at number five is going to be the pond. Now this spot is the worst out of the five, but it's also still going to take you up to the high rounds. You can train there if you need to. One of the biggest problems with it is that the spawns are kind of slow. They're not that fast. And that is one of the things that I'm going to be taking into consideration with this list is basically how fast are the spawns, how fast can you get through the rounds, and also how easy is it to train there? Because obviously that's the most important part. Running around in that area seems like it should be easy, but for some reason it's just not. I think it's the way that the rocks are laid out and the way that the zombies come over the barriers right by where the door is, which I do recommend keeping that closed if you're planning on training there long term. You can't really see over the rocks as well, especially the one by the mystery box. And the choke points are just really difficult to move through. It may look like it's an open area, but all that doesn't matter if you can't run actually a big circle around in the area without going through too many choke points. However, one of the benefits with this is that there is an ammo crate right there if you need it, and Megaton shouldn't be too much of a problem because there is, again, at least a decent amount of open space. Coming in at number four is actually going to be the power room. Now, I don't mean the little room where you actually turn on the button. I mean the particle accelerator room. This one is not bad, especially if you're down below running a circle at the bottom. You can run around at the top a little bit, but it's actually a lot easier and a lot better if you run around at the bottom. You have the armor stand right there and an ammo crate right there as well. It's super easy to access both of those. And the one kind of choke point isn't even really a choke point because you can still fit both you and a zombie right next to each other underneath the stairs is what I'm talking about it's not bad it's not the safest place it's not the fastest place but it comes in at number four number three this one is going to be a shocker to a lot of you it's the dead shot room this room does not seem like it should be trainable it, it really doesn't but one of the biggest benefits with this room is that the spawns are super fast this one requires a lot more paying attention. It's not as easy as just running a big circle. I like to mantle over a couple of these railings and that's how I'd run my train. If you're going to be jumping down like I do, make sure that you climb back up next to Deadshot to the left because the zombies have a specific area that they drop down when they go down into the Deadshot area. So that's why you want to say to the very right of Deadshot but also to the very left of where they jump down. You will take a couple hits with this, but if you're running the exact route, especially if you have a shotgun, because you can maybe get caught at the stairs once in a while, but if you have the shotgun, you'll only ever find one zombie there. You should be fine. One quick note that I need to mention with this is that you need Deadwire Tier 5 for this to be completely useful. You can do it without it. You can use other ultimate ammo types. You can use the ray gun, but I really recommend using Deadwire Tier 5 right now. It is completely broken. It pretty much eliminates an entire horde in just a couple seconds. It's nuts. The Megatons can be an issue, so I recommend actually waiting until the very end of the round to take them out. So keep training, move around them when you can, and then once the zombies are completely gone, pop your ring of fire and then take out the Megaton. Alternatively, you can run Frenzied Guard, which will help you replenish your armor quickly, because the armor station, while it's not too far, you will break your armor quite quick with this. Even still, considering how fast the spawns are, I think this definitely deserves number 3. Coming in at number 2 is arguably one of the easiest training spots we have ever had in a zombies map ever, and that is the crash site. I mean, this area is huge, there's not too much to say about it, and it's also got an ammo crate right there. The spawns are kind of slow, but it makes up for it just with how easy it is. If you just want to go for something super casual, you want to take your time just killing the zombies, you're just, you're just, you're just vibing out, go there, you're going to have a, you know easy time. Easy round 50 at least. But coming in at number one spot is the spawn. Easy spawn room. People have made it to high rounds just in the spawn room without even leaving it. You have a workbench to craft yourself self revives and other supports and kill streaks and, you know, tomahawks or whatever like that if you need to. 
And in general, just the area is really big. There are some rocks and trees that you gotta maneuver around. But as long as you keep just one of the doors closed, you should be fine. It's a super easy area to train around in, and it's probably the go-to training area for most people, especially because the spawns are quite faster. But anyway, that about wraps it up. That is the top five best training spots on D-Machina. I'm gonna have one coming out in a couple days for Firebase Z, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I'm on my way to 100 subscribers, and I would love to hit it before DLC 3 comes out. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.